Today we're going to look at adding and subtracting terms in algebra. So for terms to be added and subtracted, or subtracted, uh, they need to be like terms. And the term like terms means they need to have the same combination, the same combination of variables. That is, the letters that could be any number. So for example here, 4AB and 7BA are like terms. They are like terms because they have the same combination of variables. They're not in the same order. A and B are switched around. But this means 4 times A times B, and this means 7 times B times A. If you think about it, A times B is the same as B times A. They can be switched around. Very much like 2 times 3 is equal to 6, 3 times 2 is also equal to 6. So looking at some examples, are the following like terms. 5ABC and negative 8ABC. Here's our second example here. 12XY squared and 4Y squared X. Here, 3AB squared and 7A squared B. So are the first two like terms? Yes because they've got the same combination of variables. A times B times C, A times B times C. They have the same combination of variables. B, here the variables we've got are the same as well. They're not in the same order, but Y squared means Y times Y. Y times Y. So here we've got X times Y times Y, and here we've got Y times Y times X. So it's the same combination of variables. They are like terms. For C, we've got A, B squared, so that's A times B times B. And here, we've got A times A times B. They're not like terms. They're not the same combination. A times B times B is not the same as A times A times B. So they are not like terms. Like terms can be combined, so they can be added and subtracted to simplify an expression, to make it look neater and look simpler and easier to understand. A subtraction, the subtraction sign, stays in front of a term, even when it is moved. So here we've got an example. 3x plus 7y minus 2x plus 3y plus x minus 4y. These minus signs stay in front of the variable that they come after, or in front of the in front of the term, sorry, they come after, in front of this term. So if we were to move the like terms next to each other, the x's are like terms and the y's are like terms. So here the, the x's are like terms and the y's are like terms. So if we put all the x's together, we've got 3x minus 2x plus x. That's all of the x's that we've got in, the, in our expression. And here, we've got all the y's. 7y plus 3y minus 4y. Just saying again, the minus has followed the 2x and come with it when we moved it. And the minus 4y, the minus, the subtraction sign has stayed with it. So 3x minus 2x plus x that's equal to 2x. 3x minus 2x is just 1x. x plus x is 2x. Here we've got 7y plus 3y, which is 10y. 10y take away 4y is going to be 6y. So we're left with 2x plus 6y. Here are some more examples. We're going to simplify these expressions. These three expressions here. Our first expression is 7t plus 2t minus 3t. They are all like terms. They've all got the same variable t. So 7t plus 2t is 9t. 9t minus 3t is going to be 6t. With our next uh, expression, 4x plus 3y plus 2x plus 7y, there are two different types of, uh, of terms, two families of terms. We've got the X family and the Y family. So the X's we can put together, 
and put 4x plus 2x and we can have the plus 3y plus 7y together as well. There are no minuses, no subtraction signs that we've had to take, carry with them, so they've all got plus uh, uh, addition signs. So 4x plus 2x is 6x, 3y plus 7y, 10y. Here we've got, for our last example, 7ac plus 3b minus 2ca plus 4b minus 5b. Now, 7ac and minus 2ca are like terms. They're in a different order, they're in, not in the same, com uh, same order, but they are the same combination of a times c. So they are like terms. And we've also got the B family here, and they are like terms. So 7AC minus 2CA is 5. We have 5 ACs left over. And 3B plus 4B is 7B. Minus 5B is 2B.